Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the Avenue All Access, which is their division. This unit's under 10,000 pounds gross weight, and it's still an amazing spacious floor plan. This is the 2023 Alliance Avenue All Access Model 260 RD. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Avenue and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at this Alliance Avenue. This is the all access, so it is a little different from Will and Jen's Alliance Avenue. Before I begin, we gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? Going good. Hey Will, now this is a little different from your Alliance Avenue, isn't it? It is. Yeah, guys, this is gonna be kind of like the little brother, you could call it, to our avenue. Right, there's a difference between the avenue and the avenue exactly. all access. Now Will, how are you liking your avenue? Well, we're liking it good, but we did need a little more room. Yes. So stay tuned, guys. In a couple days, you'll see a big announcement video from us. Make sure you follow Will and Jen's yes. YouTube channel because not in a couple days, tomorrow, or Will. Tomorrow, yeah. You're making a big announcement on your we show. Are. But you guys are going to have to subscribe to them to figure out what that is. That's right. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 260 RD Alliance Avenue. The actual tips tip length is to only 28 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 8,036 pounds, and the hitch weight is 1,350 pounds. Now there is something that I want people to know. The gross weight is 9995. Okay. Right? Yep. Makes this half ton towable. Technically. <laughs> yeah. My Nissan Titan can tow this. Right. But this is a fifth wheel. So it's not about how much it weighs, it's about the tongue, the payload. The payload capacity as well, yeah. Correct. And that's almost more important with fifth wheels. It's a lot more important. Yeah, so, because a lot of, even, a, you know, a lot of trucks nowadays can tow the weight. And with a travel trailer, you can weight distribution bars. With a fifth wheel, there is no weight distribution. Right, and you're gonna bust your axles. Yeah. So always know before you tow what we recommend Obviously, we recommend three-quarter ton or above yeah. on this, but there is some specialty F-150s that are doing this. Yeah. If you're if you don't have one of those, we don't recommend that. But again, to each their own. Right. Painted fiberglass front cap looks absolutely beautiful. Current Rotaflex pin box here. Do you want to see this one? No. Okay. Nice, beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Current Rotoflex pin box right here, and then underneath here, Sir William. We do have storage. Very nice. Now, just like yours, this is not prepped for a um, generator. generator. Correct, yeah. Or just like yours was. Oh, I'm subscribed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Coming on down here, propane tanks are here. Okay. Four point electric auto leveling. Now, I still much rather see six point. Yeah. But it's like with this being so much smaller, I know. like the four point, I don't want to say it's acceptable. It gets it but, done. Right. Right over here. We do have pass-through storage. Even though this is the all access, it's still 101 wide inch body, yeah. which you can't really tell on the outside, but once we're on the inside, you're gonna see how huge Right, it is. I think that's one of the big things that makes this trailer so great. Water heater right there. Very nice power awning with LED lights. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. ST255-75R15. Very nice with the Morai CRE 3000 suspension. It's 225. 225. 225. Yeah. Yes. I'm so sorry. It's the 22, Will. Yeah. Um, what's really important about this, so many times manufacturers, they will have their one brand like Avenue, but yeah. then the Avenue All Access, and they will go cheaper on that. I'm super excited. They're still giving you right. the suspension and the wheels. That's, right, that's right. huge for us. It is. Hey everyone! Hey, hey, little video insert. Oh, we can't wait for everybody to meet everybody this year at the Ocal RV Show, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We will be there the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Unfortunately, right. we won't be there the 5th. But exciting announcement about Alliance, and then we'll continue the video. Will, what's that? Yeah, guys, so 
you guys know shows get tight, they get hard, they can't get every unit, every floor plan in, especially as Alliance grows. But Alliance developed like a VR headset thing, so you can have a VR view of any floor plan that's not at the show. So if there's a floor plan you're looking for, um, this is the time to come check it out because even if it's not there, you're going to get the best virtual experience you can. And we got exclusive Matt's RV and yes. Matt Cash. Bing! Jen, show that little picture there. Guys, can't wait to see everybody at the show. Let's continue the video. Coming on down, Will, tell us a little bit about the performance running gear. Yeah, well, that's what you were touching on. They do use the Goodyear Endurance tires and the Moride Cree 3000, but also like the Avenue full size, um, they are using the heavy duty wet bolts and shackles, as you can see there. Um, and they are doing the reinforced um, V brackets. Yeah. And then I believe they're using a 10 inch I beam but I don't think they're doing the torsion tube on this one, which probably isn't needed for the Okay, and you think it's a 10-inch for the all-access as well? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to 90... Well, we'll 99% yeah. confirm it, not 100%. Yeah. Come on through, Will, and he's passing over the very nice solid steps. Oh, yep. Now, as he's passing, you're going to see this Asdell sticker. Asdell is a green-based material, and it will never delaminate on you. Now, something that I want you to notice, this stock number right here has the awesome ladder right look at that avenue it does not have it does not ladder. so i don't know what's going on well hang on this is a 23 and that's, that's a 22, a 22. That maybe they ran sense. out of these ladders for a short period of time and i don't know i i'm liking the heavy duty I ladder. Love that ladder not all avenues are coming with this ladder just so everybody knows yeah right here we do have a four pin connector and a three thousand pound hitch so technically you can tow behind this but technically will we never recommend that yeah and a little sure bit more not. storage there and there is a uh, prep for a backup camera okay and then the roof is a one-piece pvc roof nice finishing up will uh there's the storage for the uh stinky slinky okay and then right over here here's where you dump your tanks right 50 there. amp service there and then here again just like a regular avenue your valves are here, your city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. Outdoor shower and everything. And then again, just like your avenue, guys, things will go wrong, but Alliance knows that and they make it easy for the repair techs to fix it up or to diagnose the problem if there is one. That's right. And then this another propane tank here. Okay. And then here's your auto leveling jacks right there. Very nice. Well, well, the outside of the all access looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. 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 All right, we'll start up front. Nice bedroom up here. Right next to that is the bathroom. And then coming down, you have your kitchen, living area, and dining area. Will, before we show everybody the inside, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Well, look at this huge 101 inch wide body dinette. Yes. Big enough for the whole family. Storage underneath the dinette. Right, right there. there. Okay. And then there's storage underneath the dinette. Right there. There you go. Well. Now yeah. I wanted to keep this down to show everybody how long right. this is. That's and a great dinette. I really want to make it a bed so everybody can see. I don't know. Oh, turn them the other way. Oh. Well, is that right? 
You think I would know this by now. Yeah, you would think. I've been a non-paying customer for long enough. What am I doing? I do it no justice. Will? I don't know if that can handle the... Well, just the weight. balance your weight. That's actually really good. Look at how much room there is. Right. Now, I will say, I mean, there's tons of room. Yeah. Now, I will say those four pallows kind of suck like that. Yeah, they kind of do. Um, But we, you could replace the pillows, put That's them in there, and have the big pillow on the outside. Yeah. yeah, that way they're not all coming out. But still, I mean, really great length. Now your NBA player friends can come with us. Right. Camping with us. And then show that big storage above. Okay, plenty of storage up top here, all the way across. Right there, backlight right there. Yes, sir. And there as well. Yes, sir. Nice balances, yep. nice privacy shades, atrium windows, which is really nice. And again, Will, when you go into brand X, Y, and Z, and then brand X, Y, and Z, X light, all access, yeah. 150 series, they're not the same. They're not, yeah. But they use the same name because one name's selling well. Yeah. This is the same. Right. It's the same cabinetry. Just tree. smaller. It's the same look. It's just smaller. All access. It's great for state and national parks. And then over here, Will, mm -hmm. the Kensington collection. There you go. Isn't this what you have? It is. Very nice. Comfortable, reclined. You got your cup holders here. Storage right there. And guys, Jen is literally sitting on her Kensington, Kensington collection editing this video. Right. It's surreal. It really is. I feel like I'm in Inception. Nice window all the way around. And then directly across is the TV sound system. I'm going to let Will show that in just a moment um, because that is part of the kitchen area. Okay. But Will, before you show that, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP on this fifth wheel here, stock number 276291 is $73,108. Okay. Will, MSRP. Sale price, I don't, oh no, no it's we 23. Can't, we can't advertise the sale price, yeah. Dang. So that's MSRP, but. That's MSRP. But we will get a better price. Obviously. Yeah. Well, that kind of ticks me off a little bit because our price was so much better than the competition's. Wait, do we have a price online? Well, not online. Oh, But yeah. I know what we sell them for. Right, right. So, guys, if you're interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked that website down in the description below. You can get to it via our website, matsrvreviews.com, or call 844-969-4033. Well, we are with General RV. Will's buying his next unit through General RV. I yes. wonder what it is. Um, subscribe to the one gen but but well the whole point is our goal and i want every alliance dealership that's not general rv to listen here mm -hmm. our goal <laughs> is to be the number one alliance dealership in the entire country yeah so if you guys are trying to get the absolute best price and the best service and the best experience on becoming an alliance owner reach out to our team yes and everybody else You've been warned. <laughs> Why am I a New Yorker? <laughs> All right, well, show us this kitchen. Okay, I'll start right over here. Yes. First, you do have um, light switches over here, and it's all dimmable switches, and I just turned it off. There we go. And then you have your max air and AC. Yes. Nice, great big storage up top here. Uh-huh. Nice backsplash there. Little extension faucet with a big single bowl sink. And a little bit of storage underneath. Yes, now, sir. underneath, I believe they're still doing all the shut-off, individual shut-off valves. So in case you get a leak here, you don't have to shut off water to the whole coach. Very nice. Storage up top there. Nice residential microwave right here by Insignia. Cool. Window on your camping side. Three burner uh, graystone cooktop with the blue lights and oven. Very nice. And then storage underneath. Yes. And then over here, again, this is going to be kind of your, it's a small trailer, so this is going to be kind of your combo space with your living area, but also additional uh, kitchen space. Wow. Second window on your camping side, solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Just like yours. Just like mine, yeah. 
right here you have all everything that it's prepped for your solar lithium wi-fi backup camera all that stuff reinforced drawers underneath just like the full-size avenues storage there and same thing underneath um sound system like you said earlier more storage underneath and then over here got storage above the micro or the refrigerator and this is a furion compressor refrigerator so this works off at 12 volts and then you have a really nice big pantry right there. Yes. Looks great. Very nice. Well, yes. you know what else looks great? It's the uh, bathroom in it here. It does actually. You know, for how small this unit is, mm -hmm. I was very impressed. I told Will, I said, uh, Will, this bathroom's bigger than your bathroom. Right, right. Or it's bigger than your bathroom was, I should so say. It, fe it feels like um, uh, a much bigger bathroom in here. Like there's a bigger sink area than what we have. But where they took it away was a shower, just a little bit. But I was kind of telling Matt I'm okay with this because this shower is still plenty big. You still have good head height, good width. There's enough room to get ready. I will say Jen would be unhappy that there's no seat. Ah, yours had the seat. Yeah. But um, still, I mean, that's a 30 by 36. It is, it's still really good size. And I'd rather have this a little bit smaller and more room out, out there. And this still passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. Not only that, Will. You got your towel storage right there. Okay. Right? Yep. Then over here is the medicine cabinet. Okay. And oh, liquefy! There you go. Just like in Will's fifth wheel, he has the best RV toilet treatment. Guys, this was created by the Matt's RV Reviews team. You can get this on Amazon. We've linked it in the bio. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Just thank you. Thank you. Right here, we got sink and then the storage underneath the sink. You and then switch or am I good here? Hey, you, you can walk through. That's what you can't do in yours. Right, you really can't. Okay. But, Will, this yeah. is porcelain. But unlike yours, this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Womp, 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 womp. I see what they did there. It's, they should have it's angled too it. too close to that wall, right? It should have angled. It's, yeah. it's way close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay. And then wrap it up in the bedroom. Yep. What do we got going on there? In here, you got plenty of storage all the way around. North to south bed. North to south bed, yep. Storage up top that goes all the way across. Very nice. I got a little bit more storage on this side. Oh, you're right. I also have a bigger nightstand thing. Yep, nice drawer here. Power, no USB. Power, no USB on this side as well. And then, well, what do you got going on back there behind you? We have TV prep right there. And then wardrobe space here. And I thought this was washer and dryer prepped. Mm, I guess you Maybe thought not. not. It you said it out there. Well, that that might have been a generic. Prep. Yeah, it might be a generic sticker. Hang on, open those drawers and take the camera. Open all the drawers. I'll check something on the other side. Okay. Storage underneath. And right there to wrap it up. It is also prepped for a second air conditioner right there as well. No washer dryer prep, huh? Back up, daddy. Hmm. I don't see it. I don't know. Don't forget the bev. Never, never, never. That's right. I'm not seeing it, Will. Okay. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but what I'm saying is, if there's no sticker, we don't see it. That's right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give them three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Hmm. You want to do dislikes first? I don't because I don't have many. I've been thinking, but I haven't figured them out. So, you know what? I'm going to leave that up to you. Well, what's dislike number uh, one? Uh, okay. You guys know we're kind of going to have to grab with this because Alliance always does so much well. Yeah. But I will say this toilet, because they had the space to do it. Yes. Too, like they just needed to shift it a little bit. I understand like they put it close to the wall because they wanted room to get in and out of the shower. Yep. But just angle it a little bit if you're gonna do that. And it would have like, and then this bathroom would have been probably the best in its class, you know? You hear that, Ab? We're talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> That's dislike number one. Will, I'm gonna give you a dislike number two. Okay. And I'm reaching and people might get mad because they're gonna think we're Alliance lovers. But I'm gonna say the steep steps. Yeah. Here's why. For the past two nights, y'all, I've been camping with Will and Jen. Right. But it hasn't been just me. It's right. been Yuna as I well. Know. 
And Yuna keeps falling down these steps for some reason. She does, yeah. And I don't want to say it's a problem with the steps, but with this being the shorter unit, those are now steeper steps mm -hmm. per capita of the fifth wheel. Right. Right? And me even walking down them, because Yuna's been having a um been having um issues with the steps, I, I've noticed it it brought awareness to me noticing right, this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So again, I mean, you guys are going to hate me for it, but I'm saying the steep steps, that's number two. And then, Will, do you have a dislike number three? Again, we're, we're stretching a little bit, but Matt, when I laid on this, you noticed, like, those cushions and everything falling mm. out. I wish that, even if there was a whole nother cushion that, like, had to be stored somewhere. You, you know what? Remember, this is the only place for a guest to sleep. Dang. You know, I, I would imagine that can be option for a trifold, but I don't know for sure. And at least in this, this particular... Then number, this is the only additional place. You know, and those cushions would be annoying. You know, and, and you know what? All all was blah, 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 blah. all is needed. Well, it's another one of those cushions. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not even like it's a custom cushion. Right. Right. Dang. Well, well. And again, I'm gonna make a fourth one. Okay. You know why? Because we love Alliance, and so our Got views it. are a little biased. Yeah. So maybe we should get four dislikes on every Alliance. <laughs> right. Just kind of make the playing fields. I'm going to say four point auto leveling. Right. Even though this is five feet shorter than yours. Yeah. And even though it's acceptable to have a four point, my opinion, any fifth wheel needs six point. Right. Period. Period. Ah, period. Ah. There you go. Well, well, that's three things or four things we dislike. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. 101 wide inch body. Yep. That's just the best. like yours. Yeah. This is five feet smaller, which doesn't right. sound like a lot, but in fifth, I mean, Will has a, Will, or had, right. a small fifth wheel. Right. This is even smaller. Right. So to get that, and for it to still be only 8,000 pounds, 101 wide inch body, I love that. That's number one. Will, number two. Number two, um, even though we don't want to go off there, but even though it was part of my dislike, that bathroom is actually pretty awesome. It's better than yours. It is, big, nice, well, not like a big shower, but a big shower for the All Access series. Correct. Um, you know, the toilet has enough room if they just shift a little, maybe mm -hmm. for like future models. And then the sink area, there's a lot of countertop space and it doesn't feel so tight in there. So yeah. I like that. We'll um, wrap it up with number three. Number three, I'm gonna say the amount of kitchen space here for the size trailer. Yes. Again, and they had to do kind of multi-purpose, but really good countertop space here. Still a nice big sink. Huge pantry, um, and yeah, it, it's really good. Again, if we would have started on the inside, you guys wouldn't have known this was an all-access. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? You would have thought this was just a regular avenue, and that's what I freaking love. Right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're again, if you're interested in any Alliance product, period, go to generalrv.com/slash/matscash. I've linked it in the YouTube description below. You can get there via mattsrvreviews.com. Call 844-969-4033. Send Will a freaking email. W-I-L at mattsrvreviews.com. Send me an email. Matt at mattsrvreviews.com. Guys, however you got to get in contact with us, especially on an Alliance product, we are here to get everybody the absolute best price in America, the best shopping experience, and the best ownership experience on joining the Alliance family. And that's coming from me personally, yes. Matt freaking Foxcroft. Will and Will freaking Knowles. That's right. What do you want to say to America? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And please, please reach out to us. If you have any questions at all, um, obviously, I know Alliance products pretty well. Since yes. Since I've owned soon to be two now. Wow. Subscribe to Will and Jen tomorrow. That's right. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. And Will, we're super excited to see what Alliance you yes. go with next tomorrow on Will and Jen. Thanks so much for watching and Will, we'll see you next time.